Howdy guys, Kirk and Jason here with Kirk Giordano Plaster and today we're doing something a little bit unusual. A fella here emailed me a picture of these and uh, I said, well what city is it in? And he says, Alameda. I thought, you're kidding me. What bank? And I thought, man, I've been going to that bank for 30 years. So, um, I'm going to show you how we repair this little thing right here. I'm trying to keep people so they don't walk all over it and yell at me. Um, this right here, what kind of finish is that? That is what we call a 20-30 sand. What's the difference? Fine finish is silica. 20-30 is what you see here. And then a 1620 is a heavier aggregate. Now the fella asked me, he says, well, can you match it with um, the base coat material? I've had all kinds of people say it can't be done. And some folks say you need a color coat. And I said, well, me, I'd be, I'd be conceited if I said I could, but I'd be a liar if I said I couldn't. Of course I can match it. I've been doing this forever. In fact, I'm in a location that if you shoot that way, point that way just for a sec, that is a shopping center. And back in 89, uh, 89 I did the car wash there. And way before that, when I was working for the union, we did most of the old shopping center. That was like in 1978. <laughs> How long ago is that? That's classified. That was way a long time ago, over 35 years ago. So, getting back to this, where the fella says, well, gee, can you match, match it, and can you match the color? I uh, said, so man, and by the way, you see how this is dropping out? We have two inches underneath this lip. So with a two-inch lip, we're going to put it in, and it tends to fall out until it's dry. What, what I'm doing is I'm putting the first coat on, and we are about 95 degrees, which is rare. So we're 95 degrees, the paper's absorbing all of the moisture out of this particular cement plaster. What's the name of this cement plaster? It's called Eisenwall. And you could only buy it at professional material yards. So if any of you folks watch and say, well, gee, where do you buy it? You have to go to a professional material yard. They do not sell this at Home Depot or Lowe's. They make a sister product to it, uh, made by the same company, which is called um rapid set rapid set also makes this but again this one is for the professionals while i was on the phone with this fella who i was talking to he's in another state he says well gee kirk uh i had another guy go out there and i said well how come he's not doing it uh he says well something came up and i said who was it and he says well it was <laughs> It's a positive channel. I don't want to mention any names. I said, oh, I know those guys. We call them crummy and dummy. Why? Those guys are so dumb that they'd use these hammers to break out and try to get the money out of these, not knowing that they're on film. But anyway, I said, dude, you got the right guy. Because I can do this stuff with my eyes closed. The only issue we're having is telling everybody, hey, there's two, three more ATMs inside, and there's another one on that side. They were looking at us like, man, you're in my way. I'm in a hurry. I gotta get some money. <laughs> know the feeling. Anyway, what, what I'm basically doing here, guys, is I'm putting on that first coat. And now, again, because it's so hot, and could this mud be a little uh, heavier? Absolutely. When I say heavier, it's kind of um, loose for what we're doing. I prefer it a little bit heavier. But if it was a little heavier or a little looser, I could make either one work because I got a lot of time in. A lot of time in. So, getting back to doing this, and what I'm doing, I got two inches underneath this lip. So, and this is blue tape, by the way. The frame of this is blue. You might say, man, you're jacking up that frame. That's my blue tape right here, which I'm going to pull off in a minute. We got a few of these that we're doing. So, I gotta let this set. How long do I gotta let it set? Oh, about, well, with the sun, with the heat, I, fig I figure this gotta set for 15 minutes. And this is an extremely quick set cement plaster, guys. So, 
15 minutes is all I need. And then when, once I start floating this, I'll show you how we match this particular finish. Again, there are, there's a steel trial finish. There's the silica finish, which is Santa Barbara's, it's normally called. There's the 2030, which this is. There's a 1620, which is heavier. There's a dash, which is even heavier. There's a tunnel dash. Can I match them with this mud? You betcha. Anyway, when I get to that stage where I need another 10 minutes, by that time I'll do the rest of these ATMs, and I'll come back. I'll show you how we feather that stuff in. All right, guys, back again. We just happened to do a couple more. They're done, floated, and everything. See this color here? This is a light tan. You see this piece right here? This is already dried. Now this piece right here is exactly the exact same color as that. The fellow was asking me about paint. He said, can you match that color paint? I said, no, we can't do that. But I can use Eisenwall, which is real similar. But you got to paint it anyhow. There's no such thing as a stucco, a porous finish, a cementitious finish matching a sealed finish. This color right here is what I scooped up. It's the exact same color. Just I, knew, I already knew that by uh, experience. But anyway, now what I'm going to do is float this in. I'm going to get this joint. Get the joint a little tighter, guys. And I just use my trowel to squeeze that off. If we were going to be here more than another hour, I'd love to show you the color when this is all done because anybody would be able to see. Wow, that's right on the money. In fact, there's a restaurant close by. Maybe we might go there and come back and show the finished product because it is going to be very, very similar to the, the exact color. It might not even be noticeable. They might not even have to paint it. Okay, just for the sake of what I'm doing next is now we float it. I want to match this same aggregate, same sand, sand. Aggregate is a fancy word for rocks or sand. Okay, I'm going to hit my tape first. Why hit the tape? Because I'm going to get ready to pull that. And when I pull this off, if the stucco is attached to it, then it'll pull the stucco off with it. So now I'm just using a little bit of skill, common sense, and practice and feathering everything in. Ah, it's just right, too, guys. Okay, I feather everything in. Feather everything in. And what I do is I look at it. I use less water or more water in order to match that finish. And again, if it was heavier, I'd use a lot more water and I could bring the aggregate or sand out. If it was even a finer finish, I'd leave this on a lot longer, hit it with a trowel, and it would come out. Uh, a lot finer. All this stuff is just time in in the trade, guys. I was showing you earlier, we did that shopping center oh, over 35 years ago. So, oh, Kirk got a lot of time in. All right, I'm going to get this little joint here, feather it in. Okay. And again, it's about, oh, 95 degrees. It's warm. I can see right here, just in the shade. Let me get this bucket out the way. There's a little holiday right there. So I'm going to take it, take the exist, the new into the existing and leave some sand. Get that joint out. Now, again, here's the, the transitions determine uh, the professionalism for from an amateur and so my transition from the new to the existing has got to be on the money. And, okay, now and I would have the sun right there at a perfect moment, uh, distracting my vision. Okay, so again, guys, 2030 finish. We match it, and as the areas that I see that are heavier, I'm taking my float on its edge and just getting, getting the extra grit off. Now, just for the sake of, if I wanted this to be finer, I could take one of my dry floats and hit it and it'll knock even more off. So now that that's done, I take this little piece of tape and go, blam, and voila, there you have it. That's a perfect finish, and when this dries, it's going to blend in real close. I'm going to go ahead and do this one, and we're going to clean up in, in a couple minutes. This will probably be dry. We'll show it to you, possibly, if not. My name is Kirk. 
I'm with Kirk Giordano Plaster and Jason on the camera. We thank you for watching it. As usual, see you guys on the next one. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one.